the biblical truth of our hymn. And we come to, He is able to deliver thee. Written by William Augustine Ogden. And he's American. He studied music and singing schools. He was a church member. Uh, he could read and write. He became the choir and he's 18. And he was in American Civil War. When the war was over, he came back and did musical studies. Became president of Boston Musical School. La -di -da, da -di -da, di -da -da. <laughs> I guess you can tell by my great intentions of what this hymn is going to be about. He's able to deliver it. Tis the grandest thing. All right. Through the ages wrong. Hey. Tis the grandest thing. A mortal tongue. <coughs> Excuse me. Tis the grandest thing. Did I hear that before? Tis the grandest thing? That the world ever sung. The world? The world sings about our God's able to deliver thee? The world? Know that it hated me first, quoting Jesus, and John says, Marvel not, my brethren, the world hates you? The world sings about God deliverance? Oh, somebody hasn't been door knocking. Somebody hasn't been preaching on the street. Somebody hasn't tried to give a lost person a gospel track and told them how Jesus saved and offend their religion. Tis the grandest thing. I think I heard that before. In the earth or main. Main what? In the earth or main. Well, if it had an E at the end, I would say the state of main, but tis the grandest thing. I think I've heard that before. For a mortal strain. Tis the grandest thing. I think I heard that before. Where was I? Okay. Tell the world again. Why? You said it stands at one the world's ever sung. So the world's singing about God's deliverance. We need to tell them. Tell the world again what? Go in all the world and, and preach the gospel to every creature that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the sin. According to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's not found in this hymn. Our God is able to deliver thee. Tis the grandest thing. I think I've heard that somewhere. Let the tidings roll. The good tidings is the gospel. Tidings is just News. Listen, gospel means good news. Tidings. That's just news. You can get tidings on TV in a newspaper. That's not news of good news. To the guilty heart. To the sinful soul. Look to God in faith. He will make thee whole. Our God is able to deliver thee. What about belief? Where's the gospel? What is this? Uh, let's look at the, the the chorus. He is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. I think I heard that. Through sin oppressed, go to him for rest. No belief. For with the with the heart man believes unto righteousness. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Our God's able to deliver thee. I don't see the name of Jesus. I don't see Calvary. I see tidings, but I don't see good news. I don't see gospel. 
I don't see believing. All I see is tis the, uh, he's able, tis the grandest thing, tis the grandest thing, tis the grandest thing, tis the grandest thing. And he does not tell you what the theme is. I'll tell you what the theme is, and I can put it in words. It's in the words. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, but the mouth confesses man unto salvation. Whosoever shall call upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. And is this him? It's all missing. So you know what my opinion is? He's able to deliver thee. I think it should be missing from the hymnal. I think you should take out he is able to deliver, to deliver thee and put all seven stanzas of the great physician that we did last week. How about that? How about you erase this? Uh, he is able to deliver. Erase that out of the hymnal and give us all the stanzas of the great physician. Remember there's seven, but they only have four. I mean... Tis the grandest thing, tis the grandest thing, tis the grandest thing, tis the grandest thing. He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. No Jesus, no Calvary, no gospel. He's got tidings, but not good tidings. No beliefs, no scripture. Yep, it's written by an American. I want to give it five cents. I wouldn't give it a penny. If I gave you a penny for this hymn, my opinion, I would ask for change back. Plain and simple. Hey, look at this one. Not even 10 minutes, and we're done. 